All right, sitting here with Coach Reed and the media day for the Fiesta Bowl. Coach, so first let's talk off with the start off talking about the story of how you kept recruiting Malcolm Green and, you know, walk us through that process. Well, you know, uh, we identified Malcolm early in the process. And, uh, at the time, we had already had a commitment for Fred Davis. And so, uh, Coach shut down the defensive back recruiting. And, you know, when you, when you recruit these young men, you know, there's certain young men that you build a, a great uh, relationship with. Fred and, and Malcolm were two of those young men. And uh, just kept, you know, uh, open uh, dialogue conversation with Malcolm through, through the whole process. He'd always call and ask for advice on certain things. And uh, once he got the, uh, the offer from Alabama and LSU, you know, there was nothing more that I could do. And I understood when he, you know, he committed. Um, but I also told him in, in, uh, with that commitment that I was going to continue to come after him. And so we just kept the open relationship, uh, communication lines open. And, uh, and that was what I, uh, led to us being able to go back in and uh, getting to come to Clemson. How special a kid is it, uh, even though he's committed to LSU, to continue that dialogue? Because a lot of times it wasn't even about football. It was about life. And, you know, that was one of the things that, you know, drew, drew me to him was the fact that you know, here's a kid that, you know, has a mother and father but would still call and, and ask for my advice on certain things. And it was, it was special to, to, to see that relationship grow and for us to be able to get back and, and uh, have a scholarship there to recruit him. What kind of player do you think he'll be? He's going to be dynamic, you know, just as well as Fred. Fred is, you know, both of these guys, I, I love the fact that these guys are joining our team, joining his family. They're going to make us a hell of a lot better, um, just from a leadership aspect, um, a competitive aspect. Uh, it's like I tell them, you know, if I, have, if I got a gun and I want to go to a fight, I'm going to shoot every bullet, so you got to come in and be ready to play. Talk a little bit about the recruitment of Fred. Obviously, you know, you got him earlier, and, you know, he's stuck with Clemson, even though a lot of teams would have loved to get him to sway from, from the Tigers. Talk a little bit about his process. Well, the process was Fred was, like I said, we identified him early as a kid that, you know, that, you know we would love to, to get on campus, one. And then when you got to meet him and his family, uh, it was a perfect match. Uh, but then it's one of those things now, it's, okay, uh, you got to beat everybody else to get him. And, uh, and for him and his family, it was a great situation. You know, it was a kid that you know, knew what he wanted early in the process and didn't entertain a lot of, out of, out of crap. And once he committed, even though people were pulling at him to go and visit other places, he stayed true to his word and, um, and, and signed Clemson.